Hello everybody, welcome to your virtual studio. We are going to move through a Pilates workout today, 30 minutes of arms, abs and bum. So some things that you might like to bring in to make your workout a little extra. Um, some hand weights. I'm just going to use ones, but you can use whatever you feel you need or what you have at home. Um, and then if you have an ankle weight, you can most certainly add that in. Um, at any stage today, we will move through the left-hand side of the body and then we'll move through the right-hand side of the body. So um, mix it up or pop two on if you've got them. Um, I'm not wearing it. I'm just going to leave it there just to, uh, yeah, invite you to do it. <laughs> so we will begin on our back and we'll start with a warm-up. Just have your hand weights and just set them up either side of your mat because we will use them quite, um, quite shortly. So laying down, grounding down at your feet, setting up your knees so that they're facing the sky and then just aligning your knees, your hips and your shoulders to just run in line with each other. So two train track lands down the right hand side and down the left hand side. Let your arms just melt down beside you. Try and find some length in your neck and then allow that length to move down the spine. So work through the upper, through to the middle, through to the lower. Let's take a nice big inhale and let's take a nice big exhale. And you can just force that breath for about two more cycles. Inhale, a nice big breath into your belly if you can. And a forced breath out. And let's do one more, a nice big inhale. And a nice full exhale. And let's set our Pilates breath. We move in through the nose, we inhale through the nose and we exhale through the mouth. So imprint your lower spine to the floor, lift your tailbone and start to roll up and along your vertebrae until you arrive at the shoulders, at the shoulder blades, keeping your neck nice and long. Now we're going to unwind the spine in that sequential order from the neck. We roll down through the upper, through the middle and through the lower until our tailbone rests. And then let's just rinse and repeat that action. It might even take you a few to get nice and warm and to really feel like your spine is opening up. So I encourage you just to move at your own pace and your own tempo. It is quite cold today. So waking up your body is first and foremost. So rolling up and rolling down just for about eight more counts. For seven. For six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to roll the tailbone into the floor and then lift your legs into tabletop. Swing the arms up to the sky and then reach over your head so that your finger knuckles touch the floor. With your exhale, lift the arms towards your shoulders, lift your head, neck, and your spine and roll up to your sit bones. Extend the legs nice and long at the top, stretch the arms forward, hinge forward toward your toes. And then rebuild the spine and roll all the way back down and reset on the back. Now stretch the arms overhead, keep the legs nice and long. Let's prepare for a full Pilates roll up now. Arms lift, head, neck, shoulders lift. We roll up to find our sit bones. We hinge forward for our toes and try to open into our whole back body. Inhale at the bottom. Let's do it all again. Exhale, roll it on up. Find your sit bones, reach for the toes, start to look to your belly button. Now roll back down and stay with me for eight counts. Now if you need to modify this, please make sure that you do. Just bend the knees in at the bottom and lift them through tabletop and then rock and roll up that way instead of having your legs flat to the floor at the bottom. So there's always options and there's always variations that you can choose. Last five. And last four. Last three. And two. And one. We're going to roll all the way up. Fold over the thighs, reach for the toes, and eight little pulses here. So we're going to bounce up and down for seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now we're going to roll all the way down and grab hold of our hand weight. Lift your legs into tabletop position. Stretch your arms over the line of your shoulders so that they're stretching to the ceiling. Now start to move through your, uh, your upside down bird dock, so our dead bugs. So we go right arm with left leg or left arm with right leg, doesn't matter. I just want you to start moving through alternating sides, right with left, left with right. And I want you to stay really focused on starting to scoop in your deep abdominals. So we don't want to just work from that top layer. If you feel like you're getting a little bulge in the belly or a dome in the belly, 
then we want to try and bring that in just a little bit deeper. So focus on really pulling the belly button down towards the spine and then the spine towards the floor. Keeping the arms long and the legs long as they pull away from the body or push away and then pull back. And then think of that space from the fingertips to the opposite side of your body to the toes. So think about the length and think about the space and open up and close it in. We've got 10 more counts. Keep strong. Last nine. Last eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, and two, and one more. And then slowly lower the feet to the floor, bending your elbows out to a really wide position so that they're setting up for like a chest press, but we're not going into a chest press. And now we're going to stretch our right arm towards our left knee. And then we're going to press ourselves up on that elbow. So as you move into the opposite side, into a twist, use the opposite elbow to really get some height and get some lift from the floor. Start to reach for the opposite knee. Inhale, exhale. And just give it for 10. Lift and lower. For nine, push, twist and lower. For eight, twist and lower. Seven, if you're feeling tension in your neck, get rid of your hand weights and support your head instead. So you can always take those hands behind your head if you need to. Four more, four and down. Three and down, two and down, and one and lower. Stretch out those legs, reach the arms over your head towards the floor. Now prepare, prepare for your roll up with your hand weights. Start to lift your shoulders. Reach for the toes, let the hand weights give you a little bit of an extra juicy stretch. Roll it down piece by piece, inhale those arms. Exhale, come on up, reach for the toes. Find a little bit more energy and find a little bit more space. We've got eight counts, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Finish it off and then roll down onto your back. Release your hand weights there off to any side. And then I want you to roll onto your right side so that your left leg is on the top. Now support your head with your hand. Your knees are in a little stacked Z position. And then our top leg, our left leg goes out nice and long. So we want our ankle, knee and hip in line with each other. We're gonna tap the floor and we lift it up. We're gonna tap and lift and tap and lift and tap and lift. Now, it doesn't matter about how high we're getting. What matters is that we're actually not rotating out into external rotation. So I want your knee and your toes to be facing forward, facing in that parallel line. So we're not turning out at the hip and we're not rolling in at the hip. We're completely parallel, knee and toes facing forward. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, so we're just lifting it up to the height, but you feel we're not rotating. So just another 10 from me. Nine and up, eight and up, seven up, six up, five more here, four more, three and two, and one, hold it roughly hip high and pulse it, about hip height. So not too much higher, not too much lower, just roughly that hip height for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold for some circles. Now keep them small, about the size of a dinner plate. So just start to circle one direction, the size of a dinner plate. Squeeze your butt, work through that outer thigh for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we wanna reverse this circle back the other way. So in your reverse, circle it and circle it, still the size of a dinner plate. You've got it, we've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Soften that leg down, give it a little punch out if you need to. Now I want you to roll yourself into four point kneeling. Now if you haven't got that ankle weight on and you want it, do so now around your left side. Lower down to your elbows and forearms and palms. Stretch your left leg nice and long. Curl the toes into the floor, heel to the sky, lift it up. One straight leg lead, one straight leg lower. I want you to feel the energy starting to run into the back line of your leg. So along that hamstring, down to the back of the knee and down through the heel. 
keep your foot flex the whole time with your toes facing the floor and your heels facing the sky and work the entire length of this leg here, lift and lower. Now we're also focusing on our chest and our backs. So if you feel like your chest is starting to drop to the floor as you lift and focus on this leg, I want you to push your chest upwards. Push your shoulder blades apart. Lift through the back muscles and stay really strong for 10 more counts. Lift for nine. Lift for eight, guys. Stretch up for seven and for six and for five and four. Last three and two. Now find your hip height and just add a little bit of a pulse here, just like we did in the side line work. Lift it up, hover around your hip line. Lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it and bend your knee at 90 degrees. Drop your knee to the floor, heel to the sky, knee to the floor and heel to the sky. Stay with me and stay really strong. I want you to squeeze your left butt cheek. Every time you lift that heel, to the ceiling, drop and lift. Inhale down, exhale up. Find your tempo, if this is a little bit too quick, just slow it down. If you feel like you have the stability here and you can go a bit quicker, you're absolutely welcome to, especially if you have some bar music on. Let's lift for 10, lift for nine, push for eight, bring the energy back to the chest and the upper back. Last six guys, we're nearly there, five more. Keep that full flex, push four and up for three. And up for two, little pulses on one for me, guys. Hold it up. Press 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Pull that knee in. Press up through those hands. Curl your toes into the floor. Lift your hips to the sky. Now walk toward your toes. Hand print by hand print. Once you drop at the heels, take a little pedal and a little shake out the knees and the back of those legs. And slowly start to arrive in standing. Grab your hand weights or your hand weights if you're using them today and just hold them in front of your chest. And we're gonna take a really big wide step. So the legs are much wider than the hips and we wanna work into our lateral lunge. So let's start by bending our left knee. The right leg's gonna stay nice and long. Sink down, push the hips back and then just stretch up through the center. Now this is your level one. So we bend and we extend. And we bend and we extend. Now your level two, your left foot is going to actually pop at the top. And then we land, nice and light. We pop, then we land, and we pop, and we land. And this is level one, just up and down. So choose your levels, or feel free to make a combo. If you're somewhere in between and you're trying to build up that strength, you might like to mix between the two. And if we have about 10 more counts, so let's stay really strong in whichever variation we're working. Let's lift for eight, seven, exhale six, and five, and four, three, and two, and one little pulses down in that lateral lunge. Pulsing up, down, hips up, down. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Find your way back into center. Now shift your weight onto the left leg. So the right leg is gonna stay off to the side and we're gonna transition our hand weights to our left hand. Right hand to the hip. Left arm comes down the thigh. Now as we lift the arm forward, we're also gonna lift our right leg. We lift and lower together. So we've got opposite side of the body working. Right leg, left arm. Inhale, exhale. Now if your weights are too strong, and you have two, you can always split them up. So you've got one and just hold the other. Lift and lift and find that balance. That left butt cheek should be feeling a little birdie by now. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. And one, and just ground down through both feet. Take your left arm to your happy cactus and push it over your head. Exhale, inhale, exhale. So two feet are grounded, working now one side with the arm, push over your head, pull it back to a wide cactus. Exhale, inhale, exhale, 10 to go, 10. Press for nine, and for eight, for seven, six, and five, 
and four, out for three, out for two, and for one, we're gonna squat down and then push over the head at the top. Squat down, push overhead. Inhale down, overhead. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, last 10, last nine, and eight. Make sure that weight's going back into the heels. Seven, six more. Hinge through those hips, little lean forward to the chest. Last four, and for three, and two, and one more. Squat down, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it up. Take that right leg long and then turn to the left hand side. So the left leg is forward. Now we're gonna lean forward and hold our tippy bird. Now take the hands in front of the chest, push them forward, exhale. Inhale back to the chest. Exhale, push forward. You can do this with one or two hand weights. Exhale. Inhale, think bicep to those ears. Keep your shoulders down, your neck long. Here for 10 guys. Here for nine. Eight. Seven. Six. And five. Use your belly. Keep it pulled in. Ribs are tight. Final three. And two. And one more. And bring it gently in. Lower the right knee, then the left. And then just rest into a low kneeling position with your tailbone a little bit high. So we're not quite resting, we're just floating. Elbows are tight. Exhale, inhale, we bend. Exhale, inhale, we bend. We push away and we pull it back. Work through that tricep. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Bring some energy into the upper and the middle back. And keep your neck long, gaze into the top of your mat. Push through 10 more. Nine more, eight, seven, exhale, six, five, four more, and three, two more, and last one, gently laying down onto your belly, stretch the legs long behind you and the arms forward. Keep your arms a little bit wider than touching bicep to ear. So I like to use the corners of my mat and work on that angle there. Then looking down to your mat, start to lift your whole body into your superman or your superwoman and hold. And then lower. Now you can choose how long your holds are. It might be one, up, one down. It might be up, hold one, two, and down. It could be up, hold one, two, three, and down. I want you to check in with where you are at and then hold your hold <laughs> appropriate to that level. Make sure that you're not looking forward or up. Keep your gaze to the top of your mat. I want your neck to be really long, really lengthened. Abs are in nice and tight. Pelvic bone is pressing down. Fingers and toes are reaching from each other, so away from each other. We've got eight more counts. Last seven. Last six, and five, four, three, two, and last one. And gently bring it in. Push the hips back to the heels. Stretch out in child's pose with two breaths. Inhale, exhale. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Now find your way forward to hands and knees. Take a quick cat stretch and a cow stretch. And again, a cat stretch and a cow stretch. Now we're gonna set up and lay on our left hand side so that our right leg is on the top. So if you are using those ankle weights, now's your time, go ahead and put it onto the right leg. Support your head. Your, uh, your legs in a little zigzag, a little Z, and your top leg goes nice and straight. Toe to the floor, lift it up. Inhale to the floor, exhale, we lift. Now remember what we're doing here. Our aim, our goal for this leg raise is to keep the leg parallel. 
So your toes are right facing forward and your thigh is facing, or your front of your thigh is facing forward, your knee is facing forward. And then we've got this outer line here facing the sky. So what we want here is to just work along this outside chain, hip and glute, outer thigh, without getting the rotation. So we're not really focusing on any hip mobility right now. We're just getting some strengthening, moving into this, uh, this area of the thigh and the hip. Exhale, lift and lower. Use your abs a little. Go to the height that you feel like you're not rotating. So for some of you, it might be a little bit higher. And for others, it might just be floating a little bit higher than hip height. Exhale, inhale, keep lifting and lowering. Squeeze the whole chain. Leg stays long and strong. Exhale, 10. Lift for nine. Exhale, eight. Lift for seven. And six. Last five. Last four. Three. And two. We're going to hold it up on one. Hip height there back. Little pulses. So we want to work the poles in our sweet spot where we're feeling some really strong energy, but also somewhere that we're, we can manage for the last 10, four, nine, and eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we hold for some circles and we move one direction. Any direction's okay, but just the one way for now, the size of a dinner plate for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, and two. And let's reverse it on one, push it back. The other way, dinner plate size. Exhale, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that leg, give it a little punch down if you need to. Working your way through to four point kneeling. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips and then lower gently onto your forearms. So elbows go flat, forearms go flat, palms go flat. Now stretch your right leg long. Curl your toes to the floor, heel faces sky, straight leg lift and lower. Exhale, tap, inhale. Exhale, tap, inhale. Work through that hamstring. Squeeze your butt cheek, think where that underline is and focus there. The whole back chain is strong. If your chest is starting to sink and your shoulder blades are starting to collapse, that's where we go ahead and push from the floor. We lift up and stretch and lower. Lift and lower for 10. Lift nine and eight, seven. Squeeze up for six. Exhale, five. Final four. Lift for three, you've got this. And for two, we're gonna hover it on one. Pulses for me, guys. And lift around that hip height line. If you can, or it might be a little bit lower, that's absolutely fine. Pulse 10, pulse nine, lift eight. Keep it small, last six, and five, and four, three, two. Don't go anywhere, hold it, bend that knee to 90, and drop the knee to the floor, the heel to the side. Then knee to the floor, the heel to the side. Want you really focus on that hamstring now, squeezing that butt cheek. Drop the knee, lift the heel. Check in with your tempo. Is your chest starting to drop now as you start to get a little more fatigue through that butt line? Exhale, inhale, 10 to go. 10, lift nine, and eight. Up seven, four, six, five more, and four, and three. You know what's coming, guys. Two more, let's pulse it on one, hip it up. Squeeze it and squeeze it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Gently lower. Woo! Curl your toes down and pike your hips to the sky. Walk to your toes. Stretch open the back of the body, bringing some energy, some blood flow. And take your time now. Roll it up to standing. Bone by bone. Grabbing your hand weights here if you're using them and facing forward, taking the legs nice and wide. So we want to be wider than the hips here. Now this is our lateral lunge. Let's start with a level one, hands at the chest. Bending down through the right knee, the left leg stays nice and long. So completely long. Hips go back, chest comes forward. Push the floor down and lift back up to standing. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Now this is your level one. 
your level two. You might like to add a little bit of a lift. And nice lot of soft landing. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, or back to level one. The foot stays grounded and we just lift through center and bend. Exhale. So think of this being more like a single leg squat if you don't like the sound of a lunge. So single leg, <laughs> bend, extend, inhale, exhale. Let's go for another 10. Lift. Nine more. Lift. Eight more. Lift. Seven. Up. Six. Up. Five. And four. Lift. Three more. Up. Two. One more. Little pulses down wherever you are. Drop through it. And up, down. Up, down. For eight. For seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now press it up. Transfer the weight onto the right leg. The left leg goes out long. And now we hold the weight or weight in the right hand, left hand to the hip. Lift the arm, stretch it forward, lower it down. We add the left leg at the same time. So we lift. We've got opposite sides of the body working. Lift, lower, and lift, and lower. Pull the abs in. Stay nice and tall. Inhale, exhale. You've got this. Shoulders down. Neck is long. Grounding firmly into that right foot. Stretch out that left line. Exhale. Last 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six more. Five. Four. Three to go. And two. One more. Transfer the weight evenly between the legs. Cactus shape right hand overhead. Inhale. Exhale, bend it, press it, bend it, press it. Line the elbow up with the shoulder. Good, stay really strong in the feet. Neck stays long, shoulder stays relaxed. Press for 10. Inhale, exhale for nine. Down and up for eight. Exhale, straighten the elbow, seven. Six, press five. Up four. And three, guys. Press two. One down to squat, inhale, push overhead. Inhale, overhead, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, all the way extending those elbows. Inhale in front, exhale up. You can even bring the hand weights and sit them on the shoulders. Your call here, 10 more. Nine, eight, don't forget about our pulses. Seven, six more, keep the hips back. Five more, four, three, two, and one more little pulses down, hands at the chest, pulse it down, eight, seven, six, and five, and four, we're so close, three, and two, and one, stretch it up, turn and pivot towards the right, stretch that left leg out, long behind you, lean forward, find your tippy bird, ground the right foot, inhale, and exhale, arms up. Inhale, arms in. Exhale, stretch arms. Inhale, bend the arms. Can we get biceps to those ears? Can we pull the belly in? Make sure that you're not extending the spine. Tighten the ribs for 10. Inhale, exhale, nine. Reach for eight. Pushing, seven. Six more. Keep that body stable. Last five. Four more, three, and two, last one, and gently lower the left knee. Step the right leg back, soften the hips a little bit closer to those heels, stretch those arms forward, lean your chest forward, straight arm pulses up. Open your chest, lift the tailbone so there's a little bit of a valley in the low back. Good, collarbones are wide, we're nearly there, push through. 10, press nine, eight, seven, six, five more, up four, up three, and two, and one. Sliding down onto your belly, stretch out those legs, and grab your hand weights if you're game. <laughs> Untuck your toes, pull the kneecaps up a little, raise up your chest. 
Now the action of the arms is the same. Lift them up, lower them down. Lift them up, lower, here for 10. Make sure the chest isn't dropping and lifting. I want you to find a height and hold it. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one more guys. And gently release those weights. Take a moment, wriggle the pelvis, roll onto your back. Keeping your legs nice and long. Stretch your arms over your head. Now this is a single leg V up. So we wanna curl up, lift one leg and lower it down. Or a single leg teaser in the word of Pilates. Exhale, inhale. If you're feeling like you can go a little bit further here, you might like to go double legs and double legs down. So finish wherever you feel. We've got 10 counts to complete. Final nine. Last eight. Think rib cage to hip bone. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, last one here, and one. Releasing and squeezing your knees to your chest, massaging the back of the hips, and zipping up your knees into a 90 degree angle. Arms go wide, gently lower your knees towards one side. Let your shoulder blades sit nice and flat. Nice and flush into your mat. Take a big breath into the left side of your body and a nice big exhale. Inhale again and a big exhale. Lift your knees and gently lower them to the other side. And a nice big inhale and a nice big exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Pressing your arms down, lifting your knees, swinging yourself up to find a comfortable seat on your mat. And take a big breath in once you arrive, floating your arms over your head, palms together in prayer. We exhale and draw them to our third eye. Hope and dreams. Bring hands to your lips, truth and honesty. And bring your hands to heart for love and compassion. Well done, everybody.